What it do, YouTube? It's Coffee on a vid. Back at it in more Trump-related news. Yes, indeed. Trump shooting continues to dominate the news headlines, and that's Tenacious D. Jack Black, everyone knows him from all them movies and all that, right? And Kyle Gass. I'm sure, comment if you've already been up on Tenacious D. I didn't know they've been around since 94. I knew they were around for quite some time, and you know, they like to fluck around, have fun, crack jokes, etc. cetera. And, um, you know, we just saw in the other news that dude Destiny, he was going off talking about the firefighter that lost his life at the Trump rally slash uh, S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G. And, um, you know, he was going in, right? He's being essentially somewhat kind of canceled right now where... Elon Musk demonetize him. A lot of people, and he's saying too, I will never apologize. And um, I don't know what I'm kind of getting at and is trying to ask y'all is what we see going on with Tenacious D right now. How do you compare these two situations, right? Do you say, regardless, it's fluck, that's off limits, that's not funny. You shouldn't crack those kind of jokes as you heard them. Um, next time, don't miss Trump when he's getting the live happy birthday right on, uh, were they Australia on stage and all that on tour? Or do you look at it like these dudes are goofy comedians and they clown around? You know, as we pointed out in the past on this channel, comedy is brash. It's bold. It's what people love. That's why a lot of people are like, yo, you, you like coffee. You'll never make it. You'll never really do anything. You don't say enough offensive ish. You're too politically correct. Like you don't got that fluck it type energy that people love. You know what I mean? You don't troll enough. Like people love controversial ish. People like some ish talking and whatnot. And that's kind of what I'm asking y'all about this. Uh, if, if you feel like this joke was totally fucked up and wrong. Um, and then it, if you do or don't, how do you compare it to the destiny situation where he was talking about um, the firefighter that lost his life and he was clowning him and he said, I'll never apologize. And he also said, if anyone out there that was one of my fans, you got offed at one of these events, I would clown you too. You know, like he's putting wild extras on it. Uh, you see Tenacious D has canceled their tour, apologized, and like the prime minister over there was flat out going to deport him. Was like offended and said, y'all are fucked up and all bad for this. And uh, they've reacted with uh, multiple messages here via social network. Uh, we got Jack Black here saying, I was blindsided by what was said at the show on Sunday. I would never condone H-A-T-E speech or encourage political violence in any form. After much reflection, I no longer feel it is appropriate to continue with the Tenacious D tour and all future creative plans are on hold. I am grateful to the fans for their support and understanding. Uh, Kyle Gass says, the line I improvised on stage Sunday night in Sydney was highly inappropriate, dangerous, and a terrible mistake. I don't condone violence of any kind in any form against anyone. What happened was a tragedy, and I'm incredibly sorry for my severe lack of judgment. I profoundly apologize to those I've let down and truly regret any pain I caused. And you see someone else is pointing out saying, I'm so very confused. Can you play? please explain? They're taking Tenacious D and Jack Black. How you're using your platform for GUN safety a mere two years ago, as they point out this uh, who medley to support everyone for gun safety, yeah, something Tenacious D did, I guess, uh, you know, pushing that type of message. And it says, but now all of a sudden you're glorifying a violent event, event in which an innocent man dies as a direct result of GUN violence. And then, um, you know, a lot of people are reacting here see what they're talking about. Uh, someone says, when we persecute the clowns, society is in trouble. So I don't know. That's kind of what I was asking, how y'all compare these situations and feel about them and feel about comedy and comedians being comedians, etc. I think that that's what person right there is saying, like, yo, these dudes like to clown around. That's 
their shtick. That's their music is even comedy um, themed, right? Uh, you know, so I guess he's saying like society is too soft, etc. When we're coming at the comedians about telling comedy, do you view it that way or no? Then we got uh, this guy says saying the wish out loud obviously cancels it. Don't you know anything? So he's like, hey, cut him some slack. He was clowning, uh, or just trolling a bit, I guess. Right? You say the wish out loud, then the wish is canceled. So it wasn't really a wish. He was just cracking some jokes. But at the same time, a man did lose his life, and we seen what happened. Um, surely they could have started the next show with an apology. Feel sorry for the rest of the country who misses out. So what do y'all think about that? Instead of the tour being canceled, could they have just did that or or what? You know, and do you think they're only apologizing because of the backlash? Or do you think maybe they truly are like, ah, oh, man, we flucked up. Um, career suicide tour. Uh, this individual says that they just deaded off their own careers. Could that be what it is? Will they not get booked no more behind this ish? And it wasn't even that bad of a joke, someone says. And uh, this lady says they had no choice. It was essentially cancel or get deported. It's insane. Anyone who follows or knows anything about Tenacious D would know that. So much for freedom of speech and the humor that is clearly lacking in some countries. So, you know, uh, I'm not really familiar with Australia like that. You know, I remember when um, ASAP Rocky got arrested in Sweden. It was like the, the temperature of society was so different out there. You know, we saw a flucked up situation where, you know, individuals were like assaulting women and just on some bullish and uh, ASAP Rockies, like some that basically here, I think would have just been self-defense and nothing over there. He was held, tried and convicted and actually Trump had to, had to help get him back. It was a wild situation indeed. But um, that's another thing that's being mentioned a lot, too. Like I was referencing the whole destiny situation, uh, freedom of speech. You know, when Elon Musk was saying, yeah, like this is all bad. I I'm not condoning this. A lot of people were saying, yo, Elon, I thought you're big on freedom of speech. Where like where is the line drawn? What is the difference between freedom of speech or H-A-T-E speech? You know what I mean? Like, did that constitute hate speech? What you saw from Tenacious D, um, did that from, uh, what's his name, Destiny, was that H-A-T-E speech or freedom of speech? I mean, um, I, like, again, jump in the comments as always. I want to hear from all the people over here. That's what it's all about on this platform. It's happening with y'all, you know, um, if you're new, you know what I'm saying? This is the type platform where we just talk and I try to more or less have a saying like, hey, if necessary, let's agree to disagree. Not let's not be arguing and all that. But as I always point out in these political matters, man, ish gets extra heated like I've never seen before. I always point out I don't know families that within the immediate family ain't cool and don't talk anymore over the past years over political type matters getting so heated, hated, disputed and all that. Right. I think that was like part of the Eminem bar there. But for real, like where is the difference? You know, um, let's talk about it all in the comments below. Subscribe. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.